All right, and the last concept, you guys, concept 19, you learned about side, 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 angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, side, angle. Well, there's actually one more way of proving triangles congruent, and that's what we call HL, okay? And we call that hypotenuse leg. And also in this concept, you're gonna learn about what CPCTC stands for and, and how we can use that. So before we continue on to CPCTC, let's talk about HL, hypotenuse leg. Well, before we can get to that, I need to talk to you real quick about some parts of right, tr right triangles, okay? These guys right here, these are what we call the legs. This long side right here is what we call the hypotenuse. Or I usually just abbreviate it, HYP, okay? So a couple things that you need to know. The hypotenuse is always the longest side on the right triangle. It's always the longest side, hence why it's over here. Okay, the legs will always be shorter than it. The hypotenuse is always opposite the largest angle, which the largest angle in it is going to be this guy right there, the 90 degree. So it is, it is always across from it. And we're gonna talk about being across from angles and things like that. So the hypotenuse and the largest angle, they have a relationship, they're always across from each other. Largest angle, largest side, they're across from each other, okay? The other thing that you need to understand that will always help you know where the hypotenuse and legs are, the legs always form the right angle, okay? Look right here, my right angle. It is formed by my two legs. So that's important to make sure that you know. The legs always form the right angle. If you try and tell me one of these is the hypotenuse, I know it's wrong because the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. It doesn't touch it, okay? So there are some parts of the right triangle. So when we talk about HL, we need to make sure that a hypotenuse and one of the legs, corresponding legs I should say, are congruent. So let's jump into that. So I have HL says that if two right triangles have congruent hypotenuse, and congruent corresponding legs. So two ideas, the hypotenuse has to be congruent and corresponding legs, then the two triangles are congruent. So here, here's an example of it. Now I could have made these two bottom legs congruent, but all I need is one leg corresponding of course and the hypotenuse. So if you look up here, the hypotenuse in my picture, well that's segment BC and segment EF. That's my hypotenuse, okay? The leg that we have congruent is segment BA and segment ED, okay? So there we can see that we have a right triangle because we're perpendicular right here. Perpendicular means we have right angles, so these triangles are right triangles. We can see that we have a leg and a hypotenuse congruent. Check, check, again, HL is like a checklist, but we only need two. And so now we know that triangle ABC ABC has to be congruent to triangle DEF. Again, always keep an eye on that order. Just like when we were going through proofs and when we were writing out corresponding, everything has to match when you're dealing with congruent triangles. So down below, I asked you a question. I want you to tell me if I gave you a hypotenuse and a leg, okay? So it's either a yes or a no. Tell me, is the stuff that I have marked or maybe I wrote to you, is it a hypotenuse? is a leg. So try that now. Okay, when we look at this, there's side AB, there's side AC. Is that a hypotenuse and a leg? No. These are two legs, because remember I told you the legs form the right angle. Okay, so that's a no. If I look at this guy, is this a hypotenuse and a leg? Well, let's look here. That's definitely a leg, because it forms a right angle. This is a cross from my right angle. So yes, that's a hypotenuse. So yes, that is a hypotenuse and that is a leg. Because again, this is the longest side. That's one of my legs that forms my right angle, so yeah. So let's look at the last one. Is this a hypotenuse leg? Well again, this side is across from my 90 degree angle. That's a hypotenuse. We got a leg, so yes, that's a hypotenuse leg. Okay, so it's important that you know that you have hypotenuse leg. Again, they have to be right triangles. If you don't see this symbol in there, that perpendicular symbol, meaning that we have right angles, you don't have a right triangle, you cannot use hypotenuse leg. Hypotenuse leg is dependent upon right triangles. Must have 
right triangles to use. Very important. If you know right triangles, no hypotenuse leg. 